Hello, brother. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, with a brand new video. Look at my view. Look at my new view. Look at that. Unreal. Obviously, outside you've got seating area. And I think that's an ashtray on top of that little table. <laughs> uh, two seats, light for outside. Uh, drying rack here, which pulls out. A nice desk for office work, got all the stuff here, big bed, it's really comfy. TV on the wall, smart TV, you can get Netflix and all on this. But the coolest thing about this place, guys, let me show you very quickly. If I can figure out how to open this door. The coolest thing about here, that's the gym right there. So essentially, I can go from the gym into my room. <laughs> then there is the beach along here. Uh, you can't actually swim in that beach because it's like a fisherman beach thing, but there's like a beach, like a seven minute drive that way, but it's a 45 minute walk. So I'm going to be getting a, a moped at some point this week. Uh, one thing, one thing I want to say, if you guys are coming out to Thailand or anywhere, uh, Bali, Asia, wherever, uh, and you have an international driving license, do not get one. Do not get one unless you also have a moped license in the UK. So for example, if you have a driving license in the UK, you can get an international driving license. However, when you get it, the motorbike section will not be officially stamped, which means when, a, you know, obviously when you get pulled over here, you give it to them, they'll say, oh, well, you don't have a motorbike license. You may have a UK, you know, so it's a bit confusing for a lot of people. So you don't actually need one. You just have to accept the fines when they do happen. But I will say when you get pulled over, when you get fined, you then have a 72 hour window where you can't get pulled over and fined because you've already paid a fine for, for example, not having the international driving license or not wearing a helmet, you know, this type of thing. Uh, so just a quick heads up. But yeah, this is what I'm going to be for the next month at minimum. Uh, this room, this gym, this area. So yeah, I'm just going to get unpacked. It's been a really long morning. Uh, I woke up, I, I barely slept last night. I was up to like three in the morning. But I, I'm always the same because I know I've got to get up and check out and pack, I can't sleep. So I was up really, really uh, late last night till like three, four in the morning, couldn't sleep. Then was up at 10, went and got some food, checked out, left my bags at the hotel, then went and got some food and blah, 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 blah. But today, the plan is I want to go and visit Neharn, Neharn, it's called ne Neharn Beach. Uh, it's a, like a drive that way, but I'm gonna start walking in that direction. It's like a 45 minute walk, I think I can do it. Um, just gonna head that direction, explore, take you guys with me. Then later in the evening, we've got to do some shopping, stock up and everything, fill up my fridge. Uh, then obviously we start training tomorrow. I was gonna train today, but if I'm being 100% honest, I just want to go and explore this area today. I, I, I really should be I really should be training, but the class starts in like 10 minutes and I'm just, uh, I just arrived five minutes ago, so I'm, I'm just gonna, give it a miss oh then let me show you here is where you park all your bikes like see how this little gated bit you park all the bikes there so uh absolutely perfect absolutely perfect and i've also got a little spot to film some videos do some work i've got a tv i can hook my playstation up to it yeah i couldn't hook my playstation up to the last one because it was too high up on the wall and there was no plug i was like fuck this like what? but it wasn't that was only two weeks no playstation and i don't even miss it so anyway i'll stop waffling uh, let's go boys would you guys take a look at this so it's like a proper like old school fishing village i apologize about that guy sawing something but i read oh there's someone sleeping there but very nice. Why? Yeah, this is like a proper. So, Rawai, Rawai, Rawai is like a proper like working, working fishing village town thing. I think. Uh, so, or so I've read. Because there's like a million seafood restaurants around here, so I think obviously that would be one of the reasons why. But yeah, I'm heading towards that Neharn Beach. I mean, look at this. I mean, like, right on the, this is just beautiful. Here's all the different islands you can visit on the boats from over here. So obviously you can get a boat. Oh, there's a restaurant. Wow. Coconut seafood. Oh, this is good. This is a bit more my scene, like quite just chilled out, quiet, nice area. Obviously imagine all these restaurants during like high season. I mean, all, I mean, like this is right on the water. You could literally sit here 
have seafood. So you've got like seating areas the whole way down. And this, I mean, this is a two minute walk from where I'm living right now. Obviously you can't really swim in this water, but I'm not a big fan of swimming anyway, because like I'm not a fish, you know? Like if I was a fish, I'm sure I'd enjoy swimming more, but it looks like there's a dead end. So I think we have to head up this way. But I'm quickly going to figure out where this, well, I mean, it's like a long walk. It's not a short walk at all, but I'm gonna f figure out, so nay. Right, so I've come the wrong way. I've got to go back and then walk up like the main road. But, I, oh God, I'm definitely gonna run into a snake at some point. Loads of greenery, loads of everything, but now I'm literally walking along a dirt track, so I'm gonna put the camera away. Maybe I should just call like a, book a bolt. That's exactly what I'll do. I'll just book a boat to come and get me and take me to the beach because I'm not I'm not walking 45 minutes, I'm, I've decided. It's, 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 it's official. <laughs> so we've got two minutes before he arrives. He should be coming from this direction and he's going to take us to Neharn Beach area because I thought you could just walk along the beachfront but it's a dead end because of a big mountain and like a jungle. I'm not walking through a fucking jungle in this heat with like tigers and snakes cutting about. So I'll just get this boy to take us. But I mean, I like this area a lot more. It's much more quiet than the other areas, you know, and it, and I, I think I'm just boring, to be honest. I just don't like the hustle and bustle and being offered coke everywhere I go. Oh, there's like a bridge. You see that? Like a wooden, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. There's like a wooden bridge that works its way through this bit. Fuck that. I'm never walking through that. I, I'm trying to avoid jungles at all cost. Uh, snakes are my biggest fear on this planet, as in like if, if I ever find a snake in my toilet or on like the balcony at my room, I would, uh, I, there's not a chance I would like stay there anymore. I would have to move or leave the country. <laughs> I think this is my guy. Two, three, three, four. Hello, brother. Oh, all right, bye then. Just get on back, yeah? Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Have a cup. Right. Well, here we are. That was absolutely exhilarating as fuck. He was absolutely mental. There's so many stalls over here, and I actually seen like a, a temple that we're going to go and have a look at later. But first, let's go have a, a wee walk along the beach. Yeah, fantastic. It's absolutely boiling though. Like as in, as in like really hot. Even though it doesn't look hot, it is boiling hot. And like. Being on that bike, in the, it's like hot air blowing on you, so it kind of makes you feel a bit sick. I actually ended up just sitting and having a strawberry smoothie by the beach. Yeah, but I'm about to show you guys around. I was just having a wee look in a few of these shops. They're your typical like like holiday beach shop type things. I'm cutting across like this mucky path now. So yeah, let's go have a wee look at the beach. Uh, there's no sun out today, which is all which is fine by me because I'll burn really badly. But let's go have a wee look. It's actually very windy, but you've got like these steps here. Ugh. Wow, that's a, that's a that's a restaurant over there. That's one of the nicest restaurants in Hawaii, apparently on TripAdvisor. Then obviously you got hotels at the hotel above that, with villas and rooms like this is just. I mean, look at that. Look at all the greenery, all the everything. Then obviously the other side as well. Obviously. I've said obviously about a million times, but obviously when this is sunny and like high season and the sun's beaming down, it's 35 degrees, it's like heaven on earth, you know. I'm not going to go in the water. I know you're probably sick of me like going on about the water, but it looks absolutely incredible. It looks absolutely, and you can obviously, uh, fuck it. I say the word obviously about a million times a day, that's not good. One thing I really like about this beach as well is it's also like out the way. It's not 
abs oh, I keep saying absolutely but it's not swarmed with uh, roads next to it like there's so there's a huge big walkway and path and like bike track that comes up to here but there's no roads down the side of the beach like there usually is kind of wandered over to this area and over here there's like a temple so we're gonna go have a little look at the temple and maybe go in and see what it looks like but they might you never know because it would be very very cool to see uh, the inside of a or, or is it a police station maybe it's a police station might not be a police station I doubt it is to be honest but I also don't want it to be like some sort of like ugh, some sort of like sacred ground and I'm just wandering in with a camera talking absolute shit yeah, I think it could be a I can't read Thai but it's like police badges or something I don't know it's not a temple whatever it is it's not a temple if anyone can read Thai let me know oh, god but uh, that's definitely not a temple I mean it's it's a it's a built it's maybe in like an office for something like a looks a bit like the immigration office but I doubt I don't think that's an immigration office but I, I'm gonna be absolutely just talking at my arsehole I've got no idea what, what I'm on about but I mean obviously look at these little shacks here people just selling like fruits and stuff what a shame like bless them like Jesus Christ like what I mean getting up going to your little stand or you probably sleep there they probably, a lot of them sleep in like hammocks in their stands and try and make like a hundred baht a day like I, I remember the last time I was here I bought fruit I bought like a few apples and a banana and she was like, oh, 15 baht. And 15 baht is like two, like... So if I, if I work this out, one, one pound is... I need, to, I need to work this out because... Uh, currency, that's, that's it, so... So 15 Thai baht is 33p. So she was charging me 33p for like four bits of fruit. And I was like, mate, just take like a hundred, like... No, I'm not like, fuck, like, I'm, I'm like, the, and it made her day, and I was like, God's sake, like, these people, like, need more than what they get, and I understand it's just a part of the world and they're happy, but I still think they deserve more. I, I, I don't know, but anyway, there's a big road that comes down to the beach, and I did, I did kind of show you the beach, so, what time is it? It's not even three o'clock. Uh, I, I should probably uh, go do my shopping and stuff now. I had that strawberry smoothies made me feel a bit ill. It was really sweet and I don't know what type of water they used in it because it didn't taste quite right, but. Right, I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna do next. I think we will head to a cafe, but it's a bit early. I'm not hungry, that's the problem, fuck. And I don't really feel like chilling on the beach, to be honest, because I've done that so many times. God, that sounds ridiculous. Oh, I don't want to sit on the beach and chill out. Then obviously you've got everyone being massaged over here. There's actually not much to do at this beach. Oh my God, I know the whole video I've been going on about how I like it a bit quieter. Yeah, I do, I like this. This is my favourite beach. However, I'm just not in the mood to sit down in the sun. Like, I'm not tired at all. I'm not hungry at all. I don't have swim shorts on, you know, like it's just one of those things of like it would be cool to go like paragliding or something but there's no boats at this beach so it's like So I've just been doing some research, right, and that hotel over there is uh, five and a half stars, right? Which is mental. I don't know how you get a five and a half star hotel. I know there's one, one seven star hotel which is in Dubai but five and a half stars, it's called the Neharn and typically it's 160 uh, pounds a night, but now it's only 85, uh, just because of the time of year. And when I tell you, it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, let me try to show you this. I, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. That is the balcony on one of the rooms. You have like a little golf course. You have like a, a pool on the, it, I, I mean, it's just, this is one of, that's one of the most incredible hotels I've ever seen in my life and the bathrooms as well just look incredible. I'm definitely gonna stay there one night just for a laugh. Maybe in a few, maybe like in like a month. I'll do it for a video. Staying in like the best, I, I said that a few vlogs ago as well, I want to stay in the best hotel in Phuket. Uh, I'm a bit fed up now, to be honest. I mean, I don't wanna be a moan, but like I don't know what I want to do. I mean, it's a lovely beach, I just feel a bit like, I don't know, what do I wanna do? 
do I want to do something here? Do I want to go somewhere else? Do I want to go to a different beach? Do I want to? Because I'm if I was uh, if I was hungry, I would go and get food. So I'm a bit like, what the fuck do I do? So this area I'm in now is the beachfront of Rawai, uh, the fishing village. Obviously, you've seen me go down here a bit earlier, but this is up the other way now. Obviously, you've got a Rawai sign there, and you can kind of see all the fishing boats and stuff. They must all be out at the moment because there's not too many. But then you've also got like a Starbucks, a Rip Curl, which is a brand, I think it's American. Uh, obviously, I think that's a salon area over there, but there's a big supermarket here. I'm gonna go in here, get stocked up on like fruits, water, that type of thing. Not too much, not gonna buy too much. Just a few bits for the, for the room. And then uh, I'll start walking back, I'll show you guys the area. Then later tonight, we'll go somewhere nice for dinner. Uh, that's the plan, but I need to chill out. I'm not feeling very well actually, so it's a bit of a worry. But anyway. This is open till 10 every night. Nice. Okay, that's a good supermarket. Right, Thailand self-checkouts are the biggest bag of arse I've ever used in my life. They're shit. Oh wow, this place looks nice. So I'm thinking next time I'm not training or if I take an afternoon off training and I train in the morning, we can go on a boat trip. Should be relatively cheap if it's just me, but uh, let me show you. This, actually, the Celtic game is on on Thursday, I think. So we should watch that. And there's, I see Guinness on the side there. I'm not, I will never have a Guinness in Thailand though, because it's shit. Oh, it's starting to rain. Great. But yeah, I ended up getting some coffee, uh, like as in pout, like uh, coffee pouches for the morning before training. Uh, yeah, look here, boat services to all the different, oh, this is a lovely, it's starting to rain, but this is a lovely spot. Look at this spot. What a lovely spot. It must be like you can set up a drink on the water. I'm definitely gonna maybe do that later tonight or tomorrow. Most likely later tonight. But yeah, it's, start it's starting to rain, which is just shit. Uh, so I ended up getting a Gatorade and some, uh, some coffee for the morning. Fuck, it's really starting to chuck it down. But I, st I, I still need to buy uh, bottled water. I love her wine. <laughs> I still need to buy bottled water because, God, look at this view. This is just incredible. What a spot. What a spot. Paul and Robbie are staying in a villa here when they arrive and it's just up that road. Uh, it's a bit more secluded, but it's lovely. However, as I was saying, I did not get any bottles of water because I'm, I'm like 15 minute walk away from where I'm staying and I did not want to have to carry like Six two liter. Oh wow, it's it's chucking it down. Ah, oh, God! All the bars are gonna bring in their chairs, and I'm the one that's gonna get fucking soaked as always. But I mean, look at all these like nice secluded bars. These are nice. I mean, I could not think of anything worse than having to have a drink right now. Oh wow! This And then there's all these like restaurants, things like that. But obviously I get caught in the rain because that's my luck. Wow, that's cold. The rain is cold. What the fuck? The rain is actually like cold rain. Oh, that's weird. That's making me shiver. We've got uh, like a rope swing there. That's cool. But um, the, for some reason the path sort of ends. <laughs> so. Uh. Oh great, there's a hole in the ground. What the fuck? It was all going so well. But I'm right down the end of the beachfront. So, <clears throat> not ideal, however, it's not a big deal. So, I'm going to pop. There's a place here called Rawai Park, which is like a kids like water slide place. Not for adults, I'm not going in there. But uh, definitely one day I'm gonna get one of these boats out to an island and we'll vlog it. That'll be a cool vlog. In there is the t is like the Rawai lobster market. So it's a seafood market, which is pretty cool. Then along here you've got, I mean, you guys know what a beachfront's like. Restaurants, breakfast, cafes, just the whole shebang. Uh, with supermarkets, obviously you've got your shops where you can buy all like, the lovely broccoli and weed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, metal. And you've got, yeah, just loads of stuff. It's a really good spot, lots to do. Even though, even if it is 
pouring with rain. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna catch up with you later unless anything interesting happens. So I'll see you shortly. I'm gonna have a wee look around. Two hours later. Right, so Rawai looks really, really nice at night. It looks really cool. I'm trying to find a place to eat. Uh, so give me one minute. I've accidentally ended up in a really, really fancy place where it's like 500 baht for a meal. Uh, so I just sat down because it looked incredible. I was like, oh, but it's, a, it's like a gourmet one. It's not cheap. Shit. <laughs> uh, but it's all right. Suppose I can treat myself once a week for like a nice meal, but I've gotten a big double steak burger, so that's good. They gave me like a bit of bread with like a sauce. Let's let's, let's try it. Mm. We've got a proper pizza oven over there as well. Nice water, so that's good. I'm also filming on my phone again, by the way. So it's kind of starting to rain again, which is a bit annoying. So I'm just gonna kind of head back because I don't, I was hoping to have a wee wander around just like the streets at night, but now I can't. Right folks, I'm back in the room. I really don't want to be too loud because this place is a lot more enclosed, like everyone, like as in the next room is next to mine. So like I've got to be a bit more quiet. And um, obviously have all the stuff I got earlier at the shop. I got some coffee, some nuts. Uh, I've had, ele I've had electrolytes for tomorrow. Uh, I've got some stuff there as well. Just the usual shebang. Essentially, I went to get some food, uh, had a burger, uh, some chips, uh, water, I had an espresso at the end. I was reading up about apparently having a, an espresso an hour or two before bed somehow helps you sleep because it has like a appetite suppressant and stuff so your body doesn't feel like it needs it, you know, it's something like that. If I'm awake now all night, I will be gutted because I did not sleep last night. So. That's about it, nothing really more to report. I'm just chilling out about to fall asleep and uh, I'll let you know how my day goes tomorrow. But if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, obviously the Thailand content is uh, coming at you fast and often multiple vlogs a week. So uh, great, I'll make sure the next one's more exciting than this one. Uh, we'll go on like an adventure in the next one and do go see a site or go on a boat or something. So thanks for watching.